right, and welcome everyone. Welcome to Adobe Creative Cloud Live. My name is Terry White. Happy to be here streaming to you on this beautiful Monday afternoon. Welcome everyone. And today we're gonna take a look at how to use Adobe Capture CC to find just the right font. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with what Adobe Capture CC is, it's actually a free mobile app. You can actually go download it from either the iOS App Store or, if you're on Android, the Google Play Store. So it's cross-platform uh, and it's free to download on either platform. And it got an update at Adobe Max that um, might have slipped through the cracks because it's one of those things that, you know, all the desktop apps really got all the attention. Um, but I'm here to bring some of the focus back to some of the smaller but yet significant updates. So uh, I see lots of people coming in from all over the world. Welcome everyone. And great to see, wow, so many of you here, hundreds and hundreds of you watching. All right, so with that said, let me go ahead and fire up my computer so you guys can see what I'm doing here. And let me uh, go ahead and just switch over to it. And as you can see, I've got my iPhone, um, my iPhone 10 running and ready to go. But before we do that, I'm just gonna pop over to uh, the application behind it, which is Adobe Illustrator. Now I just happen to be running Illustrator with some text all ready to go, but this could be any Adobe app. This could be Illustrator, InDesign, Photoshop, pretty much anything that works with CC libraries. Speaking of CC libraries, I've also got a library open. That library is called Adobe Live. And that library already has some character styles, some graphics, and some other things in it, but we're going to put something new in it as of today. So let me go ahead and bring the phone back up. And let me go ahead and pop into my Adobe folder. And in my Adobe folder, you can see Adobe Capture CC in the upper right-hand corner. Um, that's what we're going to be capturing from or that's what we're going to be using to capture. Now, what we're going to be capturing from is actually I have an old magazine. I'm a bit of a sci-fi buff, so you guys might remember this if you were into Star Trek. This is called a Star Trek Communicator, and it came out years ago. I still have a few issues laying around the office. Uh, yeah, it looks like 2002, there was an Earthlink ad on the back, so that tells you how old it is. But anyway, um, forget the magazine for a second. What I really like about this particular layout is the text, the, the sample font that's here. In this particular one that says Barry Atwater, I guess that's the name of the actor uh, that plays, is that Surik or one of the Vulcans there? But anyway, I kind of like that futuristic typeface. And so that's what I want to use. I don't know what font that is. And that's the whole point of using Capture CC to figure it out. All right, so I've got my magazine here, my physical piece of paper. I've got my Adobe Capture CC app, which I'm going to go ahead and launch. And with Adobe Capture CC, um, I can uh, see that I can capture shapes, type, which is the new option, colors, materials, which is also another new option, patterns, and brushes. What, might, what you might be missing if you've been using Capture CC before is uh, looks are gone. I'm not sure why the team took looks away or if it was a temporary thing, but right now it's just shapes, type, color, materials, patterns, and brushes. So if I go to type, which I just did by accident, uh, I can see three uh, types or three character um, styles there. One called clean look, that's the one I just did as a test earlier, but we're gonna do a new test right now on this Barry Atwater. So I'm gonna go ahead and just position the magazine up so I can see it. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the plus sign down at the very bottom. And when I hit the plus sign, that'll bring up the camera so that way you guys can see what I'm, I'm looking at here. And you'll notice that there's a blue line. That blue line just simply says, put your text above the blue line. So I don't need the whole, the whole word Barry Atwater, I just need you know one word and we'll just use Barry for now. And I gotta hold it steady enough so I can get the line in there, get my finger near the button, try and hold it straight and capture. Okay, I didn't do it perfectly, but that's okay because you get to adjust it as you go. So I can go ahead and just simply grab the corner, pull it down a little bit, grab the, oh, I don't wanna pull it down that much. I don't wanna get top of the T. I'm gonna move it over a little bit to the left, pull it down a little bit. It looks like it's high enough, but let me bring it up a little higher. And if I go ahead and hit the 
um, capture, which is the plus the check sign at the bottom, I can go ahead and do it. Now, let's say you were out and about and you just you you wanted to capture some type, but you didn't fire up the app right away. You'll also notice in the bottom right hand corner, you do have the ability to pull up images from your camera roll. So even if you got pictures of text from the regular camera, you can go ahead and bring those into Capture CC as well. Okay, so with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and just hit the plus, or the, I want to call it, keep wanting to call it a plus sign. I'm gonna hit the check mark. And what that will start to do is compare that type to other type inside of um, Typekit. So I can see some fonts that kind of look just like that. As a matter of fact, I really like that Tachyon regular. Tachyon, that almost sounds sci-fi. Um, but let's see if I like one better. I like the, uh, what is that, 11 2G as well. Those are pretty close. And I get the ability to see the berry at the top so I can kind of compare the two. Now, of course, every type in the world is not on Typekit. So these are finding typefaces that are close to what you scanned and could probably fit the bill for what you're trying to do. It won't always find the exact same font because we don't have every single font foundry in the world, but we do have quite a few and we're always adding more. So let me go ahead and just keep scrolling, see if I like one better. I'm having a really tough time deciding between the Tachyon regular. Let me look at the A. A is a little extended there. Let me go back to the other one. See, that one's a little short. So I was like, which one do I want? I think I want, I think I want the Tachyon regular. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that. Okay, so I can tap on that one. And then I can go ahead and hit save in the upper right hand corner. Now what I'm doing is I'm actually saving this as a character style. So I can go ahead and just call this whatever I want, like futuristic. Futuristic, okay, there we go. And then I can hit done and hit, and you can also see that it's gonna save it into that Adobe Live library, the one that's on my desktop. So you can, if you didn't have a CC library and you're starting out right in Capture, you can go ahead and create one right there. Or if you want to save it in a different library, you can go ahead and switch to it right on the spot. Hey, Renee, what's going on? And um, yes, Wayne, it is awesome. I like it. So, and again, this is uh, new. So let's go ahead and uh, this tutorial for Android or PC. Yes, you can use this on Android. And yes, you can use Illustrator on the PC. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, hit save. So now that has been saved in my library, which automatically syncs back up to Creative Cloud and is available on my other mobile apps that can work with type styles, maybe CompCC, um, but also on the desktop. And there it is. So it's already, I can put the phone down now because once I get back to my desk, it has already put in that futuristic character style available for me to use. And I want to use it just like they did in the magazine. You'll notice in the magazine, they used it pretty much just as the headline. The regular body copy text was just a regular sans serif font there, uh, which I already have. So I'm just going to put the magazine away and I'm going to go ahead and highlight my headline. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click on that character style and boom, I get it. I get the exact look and feel that I wanted for this particular type. And if I wanted to experiment, I can of course uh, go into my um, character panel here. Let me just see which way do I want to do this. I can do this from, let's see, yeah, we'll do it here. Okay, I'll pull this up, pull up more options and I can go into, for example, and get, uh, see what it looks like in all caps. So I can try it either way. All caps is okay. Let me see, upper and lower case. Maybe I do like the all caps better, maybe a different color and maybe a little smaller. But anyway, you get the idea. This is now just me tweaking it uh, to perhaps something I might like a little bit better, something like that. Okay, so now that we've got the uh, type in place, well, we're, we got that big empty space at the top, so we might as well fill it with something while we're at it, while we're in the middle of this live stream. We don't want to end it too early. Let's go ahead and just simply search for the word artificial intelligence. Now I already had that on the clipboard so I didn't have to type it in, but all I did was go into that exact same library into the search field. I typed in Adobe, uh, Adobe or 
artificial intelligence because that's what Adobe Sensei is. And it started bringing up vectors because that's what I narrowed the search down to um, that are available on Adobe Stock. So I saw one right off the bat that I want to use. We're just kind of scrolling down and seeing if I like one better. And I don't see one that I like better. I see some good ones. That one's kind of cool. Just the words artificial intelligence with the option at the top. Ooh, I like that one too. But I don't like it better. All right, I'm going to stick to the one I saw that I like better, which I believe was the first result. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and license that one. If I didn't want to license it, I just wanted to preview it. I can just drag in a preview and test it. But yes, I am going to go ahead and license that image. It puts it in that same library, the same one that's got the futuristic character style in it. It's got the same um, vector type. I'm sorry, the same vector uh, image from Adobe Stock. I can now pull that in. And um, if I pull it in, if I just drag it in, then it's going to be linked to the original. So that way, if I make any changes to the original, um, it will also make changes uh, to the one that's on this page. Otherwise, I can hold down the Option or Alt key and pull it in without it being linked. And then I make changes to it here that don't reflect back. And now it's just a positioning thing, but there we go. So quickly and easily getting the ability to um, just use your phone, use your tablet, whatever has a camera on it, using uh, Capture CC, the latest version, both on iOS and Android, and for free, just being able to just sample fonts, having it automatically compare to the ones that look the closest in Adobe Typekit, sync those character styles to your Creative Cloud, and now they're available in all your desktop apps from Adobe that work with Creative Cloud. And of course, uh, the Typekit fonts are usually included in all or most of the plans, except for maybe the photography plan. All right. Let's see if I got any questions here before I let you guys go. All right, someone asked earlier, I saw how do I bring my phone up on the computer like I displayed my phone earlier. That is a function of QuickTime. So if you bring up the QuickTime player, create a new movie, and then you can switch from your EyeSight or um, FaceTime camera to your plugged in uh, iOS device. And hello in Mars, so I'm not seeing any questions. Lots of comments though. And hello in New Hampshire. So with that said, I think I kind of covered everything I saw as far as questions were concerned. Um, Jeff, yes, this is awesome. Yes, uh, Adobe Capture CC is a free app available on iOS and Android. Uh, Gavin, so just go download it. Okay, that's it, folks. Um, that's it for this quick stream on using Adobe Capture CC to find just the right font. And of course, you can use it over and over again. I could use it to find, scan other fonts that I wanted to style this page with, but it's kind of rinse and repeat at this time. It's the same exact procedure. Um, once you save the character styles to your library, the styles are there to be used from that point on, and it will um, allow you to, of course, edit the type and, and edit whatever you want to edit after you've styled it. All right, so with that said, uh, happy Thanksgiving if I don't get a chance to say it later in the week, and uh, keep watching these Adobe streams. We like you guys to be in here, and of course, we like to show you as much as we can when we can. So with that said... Cheers, everybody. Take care. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you on the next one. Jeff, I do these live streams usually four or five days a week, and there's also three-day live streams, aside from this week, going on at behance.net slash live. Those are going on uh, every week, except this week, um, and they're three days long, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all day long. You can watch uh, designers, photographers, UI, UX designers, uh, videographers doing all kinds of creative stuff. So cheers, everybody. Take care. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.